present our stuff in class. We're all at the beach and we're taking photos. We're literally at Sydney Harbor right now. We are about to go see the Opera House. Welcome back to the vlog. Today's Monday morning and if you watch the last vlog, I probably look the exact same because I forgot to close the last one out on Sunday. But we are ending and starting in the same spot. So I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. It's like close to like eight in the morning. So I need to go get ready for class because class starts at 8.30 and I'm still sitting here. But it's super rainy out today and I think it's only gonna be like 53. So I have to dress warm because I don't wanna be cold in the rain. <sighs> I'm tired. So let's go get ready for class. Hey guys, it is much later now. It's like almost 2.30. I don't want to go back to class. It's so rainy outside today and like cold. I went to a cafe right after class. I went and got a toasty and I got a matcha and it was so good. And like the exchange rate makes it cheaper. It's like originally 12 bucks and then I ended up only paying eight bucks for like the best matcha and the best sandwich. So yeah, I have to get ready to go walk back in the rain again. And then I'm gonna be out basically till like 6.30. Ugh, oh, Mondays are so long and I'm just like cold and I just wanna like lay in my bed and like be cozy all day. I'm just procrastinating now, but we have to go. <laughs> just watching these birds. These birds in the lawn right here, they're like pecking at the grass as it's raining. And I feel bad for them because they're probably cold too. Hope it doesn't rain all week, this would be depressing. It's reminding me of New York. <laughs> it's always cloudy in New York. All right guys, let's go to class. Hey guys, it's so much later and I just got out of my um, rhythm thing. I'm in the practice rooms in between and oh my gosh, let me show you. Literally, there's like xylophones in here. There's like a whole sound system and everything that you can like hook it up to. And so I like decided to come in here and like, you know, just jam until my photography class starts. I am so excited right now because there's like a full grand piano in here, or not a grand piano, a full upright piano in here and it's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, okay. I'm so excited. <laughs> Hey guys, happy Tuesday. It is Tuesday morning and I have some shopping to go do because I've been needing to go grocery shopping the past like three days and I haven't because it's been raining here and the weather's been crummy so I haven't wanted to go get groceries and then like have to lug them back. So we are going to head to the store. I'm kind of in chill mode today. I'm also going to try and stop at the office store, see if I can get a planner because I've had a lot of issues trying to find like a planner and I don't know if that's like a thing here that like you can't get planners because I said that to my roommate she was like oh you can't get planners after the new year started or she was like it's because the new year already passed she's like we're halfway through the year and I'm like yeah but you should still be able to get one somewhere I don't know but I want to have paper I feel like that's like the the vibe here everyone uses like paper notebooks still like there's only a few people I've seen that really use like iPads so it's just definitely like older style of school which i kind of like that was a big ramble but anyways i'm gonna stop at the office store because it's on the way there and then i'm going to run to the grocery store but i think the bus leaves actually really soon so i should probably get going just ran to catch the bus and i missed it have to wait 10 minutes now <laughs> Hey guys, it's Wednesday and it is close to 3 p.m. now. Basically, I've just been kind of at the apartment today doing some work. We had our cleaning inspection today because um, at Coolabong they 
have a monthly cleaning inspection where they come and like check your apartment and your room and everything so just like to make sure you're living up to like the community standards and everything which i actually kind of think is cool so yeah but anyways i have my music production assignment that's due tomorrow so i was gonna go head over to the music labs and keep working on my assignment i started it yesterday and it's like our first like official song that we get to make and we're i think we're presenting them in class and it's basically like it has to be like a minute long of like different skill sets that we've learned in the past few weeks so it's I think really just making your own synth sounds, using your own samples, and then making um, a cohesive like song that like is based off of something. I don't know, it's like a personal experience or it's that it's inspired by something. And so I was doing mine based off of like moving across the globe and like, you know, like that nostalgic like feeling of like growing up and moving away. But yeah, that is what we are going to go do. Um, I figured I'd bring you guys with me because I'm probably gonna be in there for a while. Music producing takes a lot of time. Anybody who does anything remotely with music, it takes a long time to edit. Um, and just also me being new with the software, it takes a long time to get it to do what I want it to do. Okay, let's go. Hey guys, it's like 5.30 and we're still doing this assignment. We've been in how long? We've been in here since 3. 3.30, yeah. I've been here since 3.30. Oh my gosh. It's been two and a half hours. Wow. I feel like I've done everything and nothing at the same time. Right? Yeah, I've got so much stuff to do. It's sounding okay though, but it's also like dark. <laughs> Alright, let's All right, get this go back to work. <laughs> hey guys, happy Thursday. So right now it's like 1.20ish, so I actually need to get heading over to class because I have class at 1.30. We didn't have music production lecture this morning, so I've just been taking care of some like admin stuff here. Finished up my assignment for the music production. We had like a little essay to write about our little piece that we wrote. I think we're getting ready to go present our songs. Yeah, I'm gonna go head over to class. Wish me luck hoping that it goes well and I'm hoping that like I don't know if he's gonna play like everyone's songs today or like what the situation's gonna look like but I don't know either way wish me luck we're about to present our stuff in class we're nervous I'm terrified <laughs> it's fine it's gonna be fine it's three minutes <laughs> guys it smells so good it's so much later and like we're at the mall <laughs> Molly's face right now <laughs> And we're just walking down this like little, um, this little like marketplace. Oh my gosh. Right? Molly's well, in awe. <laughs> oh, that smells so good. Oh my god, it smells so good. Look, there's live music. Oh my god, can I join? This is such a vibe. What smells so good? Something smells so good. This. Is it the Lebanese food? Okay, we have to make up our minds. We'll be back. Oh, you should tell them your new jewelry. Oh, yeah. I'm she got great new earrings. earrings. Anyways, that's the update. Have See you guys day. later. <laughs> Bye. This is my nice post-workout glow. If anyone was wondering, I'm tired and I completely destroyed my legs today in the gym. It's also raining, which is such a vibe because now I'm getting all the fresh like rain air in my room. I have my window cracked open and I can hear the little like night 
crickets and everything. Um, but I'm getting tired. So I'll probably get ready for bed. Happy Friday. So I am getting ready to go head on campus. Um, it's close to 2.30, I think. And I'm going to go head on campus to get my Opal card and a camera. The Opal card because I'm planning on going to Sydney tomorrow and the camera because I'm in the photography class and I figured it would be a great idea to bring the camera with me to Sydney tomorrow. So that is the plan. It's very windy today. It is like really windy. Like it's a weather warning windy, but it's still really sunny. Yeah. Let's go get the stuff. Hello. We're at the beach. We're all at the beach and we're taking photos. I got a camera um, rented from the school. We're all just taking some photos <laughs> at the beach. <laughs> Look at the sunset. It's so pretty. <laughs> We're ready to blow this popsicle stand. All right, it's cold, it's windy, and we are walking back now. We'll see you guys when we get back. Bye. Sydney today and I'm updating you way later than I should be but we are about to go see the opera house oh my gosh this is so crazy this feels like really surreal actually Molly this is good this is gonna make it really real is Molly's it really here. real is it really real <laughs> I just want to see it you might have to take them oh it's over there yeah it's over there Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is so crazy. This is making me feel like I'm in Australia now. We're literally at Sydney Harbor right now. Ooh. I literally can't. I'm Guess afraid I'm, I'm gonna drop today. my today. I'm getting a tattoo. Woo! In like four hours. Are you nervous? A little bit. A little bit. It's okay. Because I hope it's good. Yeah. This is so crazy. I can't so wait pretty. to see the opera house! <laughs> There's the opera house! I can't believe I'm seeing this in person. This is crazy. Oh my gosh. Guys, it's the freaking opera house. Now I feel like I'm in Australia. <laughs> Anyways, as I was saying before the proposal happened, uh, he wrote like her name in the sky and everything. But anyways, we are leaving the opera house. Well, kind of, it's like still right there. But um, we are walking to a little festival that Molly and Zoe heard about. So we are going to go check it out. It's like four o'clock already. So most of the day has gone by, but Molly has her appointment in like an hour and a half ish. We'll probably be heading out soon. But, yeah. Which is a dance of the North Park.
like seven o'clock and we're back at the train station. And Molly, do you want to update your news? Yes. Molly just got her tattoo. Do you want to say what it is? Oh, oh so um, I love the movie Coraline, right? It's like one of my favorite childhood movies, one of my favorite movies ever in the world. So <laughs> I wanted the dragonfly from Coraline. So here she is. She's she's a cutie, and I have tattoos up here, so yeah. it, like you can get. She's got a butterfly. I have a butterfly, so I'm keeping like the bug theme on this arm because I love bug tattoos. Keep cool. the bug theme on one arm. But they both have meaning. Gotta They're, keep it to one limb, guys. This is Coraline. Guys. Coraline's amazing, and I'm probably gonna get more Coraline tattoos. You already here first. Yep. And then I have the butterfly, which is, has a deep meaning of growth and change. That's good. So that's the update. We're all tired and ready to go to bed, and it's cold. Not really right now, because we're like underground and it's like warm. Outside it's really cold. I'll see you guys when we get back. Hopefully it'll be sooner rather than later. Goodbye. Hey guys, I just wanted to give you a quick little rundown on how the rest of Sydney went. It was amazing. It was so much fun. Um, my jaw <laughs> when I saw the Opera House, because the Opera House was my screensaver for like two months before I left. And actually I'll try and put up a picture of what it was and then the picture I took. It was so surreal for me to like see it in person. And it's funny cause I feel like that's, like when I've talked to a lot of people here, like my roommates and stuff, they're just like, oh, it's just the opera house. Like it's no big deal. And I'm like, that must be how people feel like with New York City and like going to see like Wall Street or going to see the Statue of Liberty or something like that. It reminded me a lot of New York City. It also reminded me of London. Um, it kind of had like the vibes of both, but there was a lot of shopping there. We basically like went shopping. There's a lot of Asian food, a lot of like Asian stores also. We ended up going to the Apple store for a little bit because Molly needed to get a new case for her AirPods. And then that's when we headed over to the harbor and everything. I think I'm just recapping everything now, but yeah, but then we took the train and got back probably around like nine or something and my roommate came and picked me up. Overall, it was a really good weekend. I just feel like it's still really surreal and I don't think I've fully processed like that I've been to Sydney and that I've seen the opera house like with my own eyes and like it's so crazy because I'm like like I know how far away I am. I still kind of forget how far away I am like from home and that like I'm literally halfway across the globe and I'm like that a lot of people like where I'm from will never see the opera house like that. Just like that whole mindset in itself of like most people I know like will never experience this right now. And I'm just incredibly grateful that like I have this opportunity to be here and to like travel and like see all these cool things and experience all these things that like I know most people would dream about doing but are unable to or just like I don't, and I'm not trying to say that to be like ungrateful or like sound like condescending or anything, but I really just am like very grateful that I have this opportunity to be in Australia at like this point in my life. I think that's really like the main feeling I got is just, it was really surreal, but um, that's gonna wrap it up for this week. So yeah, that's all I have, but I hope you guys have a good rest of your week. I hope you guys are doing well. If you have any questions about anything, you know where to go. Comment them below. I'll try to answer them as best I can and like, subscribe. Yeah, you know the vibes. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Bye.